Welcome back to more Project Zomboid Trailer Trash. Today we're going to head back to the river and loot the rest of those stores. So be a little more careful taking those turns. Guess we could actually fill this thing up while we're here. to guess what side the pump's on. I think that was a new gas pumping sound as well. Oh, now that if I remember there are some cars up and down here, I should really steal their light bulbs. And actually, and radios. Light bulbs and radios. Okay, so actually I will, I will do that if the area seems clear. Let's take a drive up past here first. I did a lot of honking and shooting around here, but for me it was maybe a week ago and... Um, I don't know how much other stuff could walk in the area. It seems alright. Pop another smoke, if anything chasing is time to come at us, bro. We're literally just stealing these lights so we can use them in our house. But given we need to get the screwdriver out for the radio anyway, it's not a big hassle. Uh, I didn't go into those bathrooms last time we were here because there aren't really be any loot in there, but um, let's do it. Again, I'll be cranky if there's a zombie just sitting in there waiting. Or three. collecting garbage bags out of um out of habit. Okay, I could probably get more hinges off those. Again, these things can open doors, so door flashing is um, questionable. I think disassembling that is... Oops. That's electrical. 14, 23, and a bit. Yeah, no, that was electrical. God knows why. So if there's a paper, dispel, a paper towel dispenser next door, we'll grab that as well. Okay, 10 a.m. Not thirsty, not hungry. Let's not run into those cars. And let's check this general store. Again, there really ought to be nothing in here, but... Lamp off. 
a little clothes rack. I really want that. I don't think these windows open, so that would actually slow sprinters down. We do need a bunch of these. Here. What? Wow. Not used to, um, Clean residences. Feels like I stepped into The Sims and out of Fallout. Okay. Start looting. I don't know if I disassemble my stuff at home, do I get electrical? If I can just build and disassemble. Uh, I haven't tried that. Uh, do I want a nice big bed? I think I probably do. Let's see, these are a bit of a pain to cart around. One of those things in here. One secondary. One primary, but we're going to have to do a bit of pushing if we find a zombie. Yeah, we've got three of them. Um, all sheet rope and stuff. We like these bookshelves. Oh, I forget to take those crates out. Yeah, those crates have really hampered our uh, carrying capacity. Probably just lost a bunch of stuff from my inventory that I wanted because it wasn't all favorited. I'll have to fix that up. is a general store so I guess I should have expected and supplies this will this will be even longer that we don't need the farm for roadside duffel bag wow that's loaded up with stuff add that to our colorful poncho collection a roadside triangle glow sticks uh, I think we left our battery our car battery charger at the other base Let's take all that. We can figure figure out what to do with it later. We've got two of these big metal thingies we want. A video game. Poster, which we can't carry. What do we have that's actually heavy? Crowbar. Uh, we might come back with these shelves, actually. I, I guess this would look good in our pantry. Let's see if this place has any cigarettes. Cool, some maps. We'll look at those. I'm actually going to leave that locked. We'll go down the, down the sheet rope.
Oh, we've probably got too much stuff in our inventory. Yeah. We literally have too much stuff in our inventory. Pull out a cigarette and smoke it. should still be locked. Let's see we would like that. Shelf. And the one in there. We'll grab these things first. No TV dinner. Zombie apocalypse, but we're not that desperate. Uh, we had a... <laughs> We spent, I think, four hours looking for flour and the cake tin for our Christmas episode. I'm not really interested in gas cans, I never thought I'd be at the point where I'd say that. Again, a sprinter could just run through that door, not even slowing down, but at least the sound would alert me. Okay, well, I said it'd get dark at about 9 and it'd only take us that long, but we did have to do all that um, messing around at the end. Okay, that was a nice haul and some good furniture. Uh, I think we will actually work on the, from what was in there, shelves and things, I think that might be the pantry we work on, which unfortunately is also the room at the moment where I'm storing all my literal garbage and um, floor tiles and stuff, so that's going to be a bit awkward. Um, but we can we can do that mostly tomorrow. I'm gonna move the mattress to the bottom of the uh, elevator shaft. Yeah, I think I'll just put two, two mattresses down there. Okay, we are now very tired. Clothes can go away. I should be good to transfer all here because only clothes can go onto a clothes rack. Or clothing and accessories. Okay. Smoke. Still getting error messages when I drink. Okay, 1am, let's sleep. Today, we are going to turn this room from our literal junk pile into a nice pantry with all of our dry goods and non-perishable foods stored in it. Let's see how we how well we do. I'm sure we're going to need more, more stuff, uh, but we did just loot a general store which had some pretty nice shelves and stuff. Okay, so... We've got to move these crates out somewhere where... Hmm. Where can I move them that we're not then going to have to rejuggle and shuffle them a bunch of times? Maybe put them in there. So do we have any empty crates? We put this 
Iya. I mean, I don't even know if I really want those toilets. We've got quite a few around. So I guess I can put one of these crates in... What do we work at? This is the bigger room. This will probably be the library. That means this is the smaller one. This will probably be the bathroom. Um... Uh, this way I can put stuff in here. Some things like sinks always have a chance to break when you move them, so you don't want to be picking up and moving them uh, willy-nilly. Yeah, so this is the worst part of cleaning or moving things, where you're literally just moving something from one spot to another, knowing that you're probably going to have to move it later. Uh, now, doing this, I, see, I can see how Chloe could get bored. Although, well, she could just harden up. Harden up, princess. We've got a, we've got a building to clear. And clean. What am I saying? She's killed like 4,000 zombies. She's pretty hard at this point. are we up to yet? 4.3k zombies. I didn't necessarily think this was the first room we'd be doing, hence why it's um, in such a date. A shamozzle, if you will. If that is indeed the correct word. I think I should put these down. It's not where I'm going to want them, but get out of my inventory. Okie dokie, let's pick up all this trash. It's actually quite heavy. Well, actually different piles of trash weigh different amounts, but some of it is quite heavy. From one to four, it seems. Okay, so what alignment do these sort of things want to be in? And these shelves could go there. That looks... That looks alright. I mean, I guess maybe the... All the stuff is... Is um yeah maybe that's not ideal. I just pick up the floor. That would explain why I did that twice. Let's put these in here. Uh, yeah, so maybe those shelves actually go in the other side. also have these chonkers. Oh, I see we've got, yeah, we've got two of each. So that, I've got one of these in my secondary hand. And then I can pick that up. And then I can just pull up my crowbar and go over the way. Okay, so. Hmm. This is pretty big. Okay, I have two like that and that. It's double sided. Yeah, they kind of are. I mean, so that would sort of would really fill the whole room. And that goes there.
Hmm. I don't think I have enough bleach to clean this. Need a mop or something as well. something to clean with. Oh, yeah. Bath that will do it. Though I'm not sure I didn't want to use it for anything else if I'm putting bleach all over it. to the whole place but um, even just the walls it already looks a lot nicer yeah so these don't actually have a lot of storage these at least have pretty decent storage. I mean, they're the same as a crate, except obviously you can stack a crate three high. Whereas those big long things, um, I'm going to just sledgehammer the ends off. I don't know if I'd then be able to pick it up in movement. have those middle sections. Maybe, maybe this room does just have the two, two, these big things and some wall shelves and, and the other one goes into the, um, in the kitchen. Yeah, so this, no, I'm definitely not leaving it like that. Oh, my soul obviously gets in the way as well. Um, yeah, I think these things just have, um, they're quite a, a large footprint, um, and I mean, we will actually, this, this actually has a practical use. We will need to store things in here, and honestly, they don't have a lot of storage. Uh, so maybe they get bumped, or at least one of them probably does. Okay, everybody, I'm going to call it there, and we will look into decorating a little bit in the next episode. Hope you're enjoying the run. Once again, if you've got any good suggestions for some of the rooms, I have no plans at the moment for the ground floor or those second floor levels. So, if you've got any suggestions, let me know. I'll catch you in the next episode. You have a great day.